What it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Got a package here behind me from Summit Racing. And uh, so let's go ahead and open this. And I will kind of fill you guys in on what this is. So we got, obviously got some paper here. We have my order. And of course, nice, beautiful continental belt and an ATI super dampener. Let me go ahead and take this out of the box. All right, fantastic. Now I'll kind of fill you guys in on why I even have this and it's actually because all the work and everything that Lashway Motorsports just did on my Trans Am and everything is great. This is an ATI. On my Corvette, I actually have uh, Innovators West. But I decided to go with the ATI uh, simply because when the harmonic balancer was put back on my car, it was put on, you know, whether you can say on or not on all the way. And no big deal. I contacted the last year and I said, hey, you know what? Let's just go ahead and throw another one on there. Uh, excuse me, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing tightened up. And they advised me, even before when I did the build, there's the one thing that I did not throw on, even though I knew uh, the car was going to make significantly amounts of more horsepower and obviously rev up a lot higher. Now, of course, for the people and the individuals that don't know what this is going to do, obviously it, the engine is partially and internally balanced, partially by the crankshaft, but a lot of the... Uh, vibrations and stuff get transferred out of that and now that the camshaft lift and duration is much bigger and the engine is going to make more power from the pistons and the crank and everything else working together it's going to have uh, more vibration so this is going to significantly reduce that and it's also much lighter than the factory harmonic balancer so uh, upon putting that uh, harmonic balancer back on it was starting to wobble and of course at higher pms what was happening is the belt was starting to jump off of the uh, harmonic balancer and causing the tensioner to obviously have uh, more play than it needed to have so at first obviously we all thought it was the tensioner and it wasn't because the tensioner was pretty tight and i was like okay how much tension should i have on it i measured that everything was great with the spec uh, I, at first I thought I needed to upgrade the tensioner to obviously uh, increase the belt tension and that wasn't the case. So as soon as if obviously upon starting the engine, uh, obviously I saw that the harmonic balancer was uh, wobbling. So and again, this was something that needed to be done and should have been done by myself when I was advised and putting the engine back together. So ultimately I'm paying the price for it now, but the guys over at Lashway, they're great guys. They're hooking me up, they're helping me out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take it over there and they're gonna throw it on the car. The reason why I'm actually not doing it, something so simple here in my garage, is actually because of all the pulley pullers and everything. I do not have an LS crank puller as well as a uh, balancer, uh, excuse me, the tool to put the balancer back on. The balancer is a press fit, it's not a key fit, it's very similar to the LTs. The LSs are a press fit, so since they have the tool and everything like that, uh, they said, okay, just no problem, bring it by, we'll schedule a time and we'll throw it on. So let's go ahead and open this uh, bad girl, let's see what she's all about. And of course, like I said, I have a new serpentine belt as well, I'm gonna throw on there. So we have our dampener, of course, we have some stickers to obviously throw up against on here that you guys know that I love to have stickers. Here we have our dampener. Uh, and looks like the back here, this is going to be our hub that's going to actually get pressed onto the crankshaft. So the hub is gonna get pressed onto the crankshaft. There is the back ring that looks like it's for the air conditioning. And or this one's for the air conditioning, whatever. One of them is for the air conditioning, the other one is for the drive line. And then of course here is our dampener. Fantastic. We have our timing marks just in case need be. And it looks like a balancer. So I 
figured I'd share this with y'all, some, some new parts and stuff like that. And then the next part of this video will be at Lashway, and they're going to go ahead and throw this joke on for me. We'll see you there. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Quick little video, and the next video of this, we will be at Lashway Motorsports, taking that over there so they can throw that on for me. Eric and the team always do a fantastic job, and uh, so we will see you over there. So that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. If you guys like what you saw, again, don't forget to subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, at the Speedbug, same name here as YouTube. And we will see all of y'all at Lashway Motorsports for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Deuces, guys.